All right, it's here. My second book is out. So this is just a quick video to tell you about it and why you should buy it. I can assure you that if you enjoy my videos, you will definitely enjoy the book. And it's cheap, even if you are broke right now. You can buy it either in ebook format or as a physical book. Links below. Maybe I'll do an audiobook. Let me know if you want it. Now I don't have a publisher. I'm publishing it directly, so I'm relying on you to help me publicize it. If you read it and like it, please leave a review. It's very important, and I always look at the user reviews before I buy something online. But I care only about the reviews that have content, so don't review it before you read it. If you read it and don't like it, don't write a review. Eh? Don't be dicks. But do let me know in the comments here what you didn't like. I always welcome criticism. The book is about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. If you haven't seen the films of the MCU, that is not an excuse. Just go ahead and watch them. The first eight films are hit and miss, but after that it gets into a groove, and you will not be bored, I promise you. If you also read my book, it will help you find a lot of deeper meanings. I analyze every movie, but more importantly, I focus on the art form of universe building. This is not an entirely new art form. There have been precedents to the history of art, and I discuss these precedents. But it has never been so dominant as it is now, and I explore what it says about our culture, and what it says about our future. Beyond that, I treat these movies as a safe space which I can enter and discuss everything that happened during the last decade. Everything found its way into the films, and I basically tell the history of the 2010s, mainly all the culture wars. If you want to relive the decade, in a fun way, this is the book for you. One thing I realized when I started to analyze the MCU, which was actually the main thing that made me want to write this book, is that every superhero represents a certain segment of contemporary human society. By following the arc of these heroes, I discuss the problems that these segments face in today's world, and ask how they can overcome them and be heroic. The films, of course, also pit these heroes one against the other, creating dramas from which we can draw insights about today's social struggles. And then I do my usual thing. I discuss the philosophical themes in every movie, and how these themes are developed across several MCU movies from different perspectives. Every film I analyze is also a launchpad to go back and discuss the historical and cultural trends that find an echo in it. I pretty much present the history of the last hundred years from the perspective of pop culture, and use it as a basis for philosophical investigations. If you've seen my videos, you will be familiar with a lot of it. But there's also a lot of new stuff and new insights, and you will learn a lot. I guarantee. What the book does not have is references. That thing where there's a little number that sends you to the end of the book, where it references a chapter in another book, you won't find it in this book. This has several reasons. First of all, I developed an aversion to this practice. It has been abused and corrupted. Writers just use it to make flimsy arguments and then tell you it relies on some other book. You check that book and you find that it is also badly argued, and sends you to other books. In the end, you have to read many crappy books to find out that the argument has no grounds to stand on. Screw that. I'm not playing this game anymore. If you don't accept my argument, good. Go ahead and refute me. Another reason is that I want to move away from the idea that just because something is written in a book, it has more credence. Books get their seal of approval from the academy, and the academy today is corrupt. It has too many faculties that are not dedicated to pursue truth, but to push an agenda. Yet books still have this aura of truth. I don't want to add to it. Even where I quote someone, I don't give you the exact reference. I prefer that you Google it. All the quotes I used can easily be found through Google. I checked. And this will also provide you a link where you can read it or watch it for yourself. This way, you can make sure that I am not quoting things out of context, like so many writers do nowadays. The final reason is that a lot of what I write is basically unprecedented. There are no other sources. 
I'm relying on my own research. My knowledge of pop culture doesn't come from a book, but culled from thousands of sources and pieced together. Most of the substantiation of what I say can be found in my own videos, or in future videos and books. My take on pop culture is totally different from anything the Academy is offering. Mostly, academics portray pop culture in a negative light. Those who do try to treat it positively rely on old values that are not fit to discuss it. My PhD was supposed to finally offer the metaphysics, ethics and aesthetics of pop culture. It was very revolutionary. But the committee that was supposed to approve it was manned by professors who were too lazy to try to understand what I was saying, and a couple of neo-Marxist professors who understood exactly what I was saying, and knew how much it threatens their ideology. So they blocked me. I'm actually thankful for it, because I don't want to be part of today's academy. But it means that I need to make it on my own, through videos and books, while making a living in menial, part-time jobs. Another book done. I'm planning more in the future, but now I'm back to video production. The problem is, as I'm sure you know, YouTube is not a friendly place for creators like me at the moment. I have hundreds of videos in my head, waiting to come out, but I am not sure I'll be able to make them. It seems Google wants us to do nothing but mindless entertainment, and they punish us for doing anything else. Well, I just wrote a book that discussed the history of comic books, and cinema, and pop music, and television, and they all went for similar faces. We'll just have to breathe through. This is usually the part where I ask you to support me financially. But it feels like bad taste right now, so I decided I'm not gonna do it until times get better. I'm currently on unpaid leave, and I'm sure many of you are also struggling. So support the book, okay? Buy it, read it, spread the word around. If you, if you have a friend who is a Marvel fan, recommend it. If you are members of relevant groups and forums, mention it. It will be of great help. As for me, I'm back to regular video production. See you soon. Capital World. Universe now.